everyone, and welcome to Lake Logan Martin. It's the penultimate stop of the Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats South Division. Now, if you win this event, things kind of take care of themselves. You automatically qualify for our championship at the end of the year. But with this being to that next to last stop, there's a lot of guys need to need to move up or hold ground. Another spot is to look for that top nine because, yeah, you get that automatic bid into the Bassmaster Team Championship and an opportunity to fish the Bassmaster Classic. Now, here at Logan Martin last year, it was high flow. Things were crazy. It was cold. Different time of year here. They brought the water level up. Things are warm, but there is a chance of rain today. Either way, you know these guys always find a way to catch them. So let's go out on the water and see our Academy Sports and Outdoors first cast of the day. Gene, we feel like a green one. These suckers are still going to have to eat no matter what. Here we are, Alabama Bass Trail South Division on Logan Martin. Logan Martin's been fishing really tough. I'm hoping that maybe today we'll turn it around. These guys are looking for three pounds or better because there's gonna be a lot of people that'll catch limits today. Who can get that better than average? We're gonna see it all unfold right here on the water. These two brothers, if y'all keep up with tournament fishing, you see their names uh, every weekend. I, every, every time they make a post, it's winning a tournament. We won here, we won there. And every single time I comment and say, I'm just so glad I don't have to fish against y'all. So we pull up on them, they're in a Phoenix. They're both burning the bank, shoulder to shoulder. I talked about that the last time was, you have to be doing that in ABT is fishing as a team. You can see how close they are. Their casts are in sync. This is like tournament fishing um, at its best. Two guys working together. Uh, we, we started right here and we've had about 10 bites going down through there, but there were two boats ahead of us, so we kind of fished everything quick. We got so many bites, we just turned around and come right back down through there. We pulled three times coming back down. We caught up with boat number 50, Kenny Smith and RJ Thompson, currently sitting in 18th place in the AOY. These guys just kind of pulled into a little pocket right here, just south of the I-20 bridge here. You see these guys just kind of working this shallow area. Water, cl water clarity is a little stained. We have had a lot of rain this week. Kenny and RJ, you guys are sitting at 18th AOI, pretty solid. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't pretty good this year so far. Definitely want to make a move up today. What's the game plan? Well, just fish out all day long. That's what we do. Yeah. Yeah. I fished yesterday, caught some fish, but still ain't caught no great. Uh, you know, I'll probably get in the river here in a little while. Just wait for the to get down. Rob Lee and Steve Winslow, boat number eight. We ain't been getting our bikes to be a time. Okay. He's been practicing. Hooked up. I think we do bring good luck. Don't let that fish get wrapped up in that Yamaha now. Well, Rob Lee, Steve Winslow here. These guys consistently do well every tournament on ABT. Currently uh, six in AOI points. Uh, talked to him just a few minutes ago, said that they've been struggling, hadn't had a, hadn't had a bite, said through practice that most of their bites come more in the middle of the day. And lo and behold, they hook up and catch a first one. So going in the live well now. So based on previous conversation, I'm saying they're probably ahead of schedule. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, is brought to you by Bill Penny Automotive, where it's always Bill Penny time, by Jacks, all about the South, and by Sweet Home Alabama. In 2009, it all started with this 721 Pro XP and a passion to build the best fishing platform in design, performance, and construction for all of our customers. Through the years, motors have changed, electronics have changed, but the passion to build the best bass boat possible has not changed. Everyone at Phoenix believes we got it right the first time. 
Field Petty Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. But that's not the only reason to get to know Field Petty. Enjoy a 10-year unlimited warranty on every new Toyota in stock. Get one year of 24-7 roadside assistance. Test drive for the chance to win $5,000. You heard right. 5,000 big ones. Plus, choose from over 700 new Toyotas in stock and price to move. Bill Penny Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. Get to know us today. The perfect checking account doesn't exist. Not at a bank, that is. So why do you keep looking there? At Amfirst, you can get no minimum balance or monthly fees, an instant issue debit card, and free checks with unlimited check writing. But who doesn't want more? Like a rewards program you'll actually use and convenient digital tools that make it easy to manage your account from anywhere. Now you could try and find that at a bank or you could save yourself the trouble by checking with us. Stetson Blaylock! Todd Otten! Hank Terry, let's go! Garmin Live Scope, I tell you right now, if you don't have it, you are behind. It's just wild. It's like a video game. If you do not have that Garmin Live Scope, you are definitely missing out. Bassmaster Classic Champion! The splash of your paddle mimics the pelican as it drops down from above. As the calmness of the water washes away any lingering concerns, you listen to the tall grass sing of the surrounding beauty and how the best views only get better when they're shared. This is Alabama. And when you're here, you can take it all in. Lit. Get down my head, get down. Huh? I can't get your limit out of that path. There she is. There you go. That's, that's two for him. That's what we was catching. That's what we was making by yesterday. We've made it uh, pretty much all the way to the dam. So we've got, gotten as far down as we can go and uh, pulled into a pocket here. Pulled in on boat 33. It's Brandon Lovelady and Josh Williams. Says he's got two keepers in the boat, but he says there are two that they don't, they don't want to weigh in. So they know they have to, to catch bigger fish in order to be competitive here. Kind of what we expect to see throughout the day. A lot of teams catching fish. The key is going to be who's going to catch better than average quality today. Water's in good shape down here. It's pretty clear, good green color. It's kind of what I would expect down here on the lower end. Uh, these guys said they got four fish, uh, all around a pound to a pound and a half. So they've got that average. Uh, man, they're firing a bunch of different baits and certainly working. What we've talked about multiple times is a one-two approach. The, the guy in the back is really focusing on fishing the piling itself, the fish that are around the piling. And the guy in the front of the boat's more covering the flat. He's throwing a bunch of different, I guess, searching, search type baits, moving baits crankbait, chatterbait, spinnerbait. He's picked up several different rods. And they're just doing a, a one-two approach. That's what it takes to be a good team in a, in a team event like the ABT, is trying to dial in exactly what they're biting on. And this is, this is a textbook picture of doing exactly that. These guys just got one in the back of the boat right now. Looks like a little one. It's definitely a little one. <laughs> there we go. Guys, uh, how's it going? Slow start, man. Excited today, right? Beautiful day. It is going to be a beautiful day. 
How was practice for you guys? I had a good practice, man, you know, but been a lot of boats. Been a lot of boats out here, right? Yeah. A lot of pressure. You gotta get in there and get with them, right? Yeah. So kind of going practice. after these acts. So we probably, you know, probably had a 15 pound bag the other day, so we just uh, trying to duplicate that to get yeah. it what was working for the for those days? Uh, swim jig, caught them on the swim jig, most every one of them. Caught a few flipping. Uh, looked like looked like they were postponed bass, so a lot of bucks, you know, uh, garden fry. And uh, a few brim beds was catching on. But, you know, I think when the I think later in the day they could get better, you know it. Yeah, we've caught up with boat number 80 and uh, says it's been slow for these guys. He's got two fish for about five pounds so far and they're just trying to uh, cover some water. He said he pulled into this area looking for some fry garters, hoping that uh, get some get some bites. But another hooked up here. Got this one in the boat. I'll, I'll say it again. We we obviously bring good luck. I mean, he kind of sounded like he was struggling a little bit. And two bites here. Got one in the boat. So all the guys that we roll up on and think that we're bad luck, uh, we're proving them wrong here. All right, we've made it back down a little bit further than the I-20 bridge. We're just in the same area. As you can see, we're, we're in just a small rocks toss away from the I-20 bridge. A lot of boats around, a lot of boats running around, and we've met up with boat number 93, and they said they've only got one fish, and I did this number, and he did this number right back. So it doesn't look like it's a giant one, but what we're seeing is they're offshore, they're fishing some sort of ledge, a hard spot right off of the, the, the main river ledge. They've got their buoy marker out, which you don't see a ton anymore now with all the technology. You don't see the, the buoys. The, the buoy is, uh, is a lost art nowadays, the marker buoy, but this is old school fishing at its finest. This portion of Alabama Bass Trail TV presented by Phoenix Boats is sponsored by Garmin, by Academy Sports and Outdoors, and by America's First Credit Union. There's more right after this. Buying stale burnt coffee is like eating hot sushi out of a vending machine. It's just a no-no. Explosion. Cool guys don't look at them. As a veteran-owned and operated company, we take massive pride in giving back. And with your support, we've donated millions to charitable organizations and veterans. Do you have a lightsaber leg, Jay? Yeah, I got a lightsaber leg. When you sign up for a coffee club, you get fast free shipping directly to your door. Things are just better when they're handmade. Like Jack's new Southern Made Meal Deal. Our handmade chicken sandwich, golden crispy fries, warm flaky fried pie, and a refreshing sweet tea. All of this for only $5.99? Gonna wanna get your hands on this one. Biscuits for breakfast? That's pretty Southern. Crispy fried chicken? Pretty Southern too. So is this the most Southern thing that's ever Southerned? No offense to sweet tea, but yeah. Two Southern fried chicken biscuits for $5.55. Only at Jack's. Vegan, vegan, vegan. Yeah, yes, 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 dude. Yes, dude. That's a four pounder. That's five. Come on, <laughs> come on, oh, look at that sucker right there, dude. Check that out, people. Swap it, son. I snuck up on you. How's it going? 
Good. Just kind of want to get an update from you. How's it going so far? Uh, got five, one about three. Okay. Uh, and this is small. Okay. About ten pounds. Maybe. Okay. Picking up a little bit though. Okay. Hooked up. He said he had about 10 pounds, so this may help him a little bit. Alright, that's probably about a half pound call up. So he's probably sitting about 10 and a half pounds. Good thing every time y'all come around, we catch a fish. I'll tell you what, man, we bring good luck. What y'all got? Three. Three? Any size? No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Biggest one about two pounds, little okay. than, less than one. <laughs> That's a good start, though. Just pulled up on boat number seven with the fish catch. Oh, it came off. It's John Brown and Trey Sorrells. And he says he's got no fish, so. Kind of got a case of the haves and have nots here. Got hooked up now. I noticed he was looking down at his screen. I, I wonder if he was using a live scope for that one. Yeah, so we're, we're just gonna stick here about 52. They throw in frogs and swim jigs. So there's like real uh, sparse uh, grass you know, areas of grass, and then you'll be a stretch where it's just bank. Um, so that isolated grass patches is kind of what they're focusing on. And if you can see, look down the bank, like there's there's not just one long stretch of grass like you see at other areas, like we saw this morning with the brothers, uh, Godwin and Godwin. They were, these guys are just fishing more random. They said it could be a bite here and it could be a bite there, but they're dialed on what they're doing. They're, they're focused, you know, and they're confident. And that's the, really the main thing. Hammer. Yep, he had it. <laughs> he sure did. He missed it the first time. Did he? I would have brought it back up there and he'd come back at it. Nice. <laughs> Had a really exciting day here on Logan Martin. Seen a lot of teams, seen a lot of teams catching fish today. Now they're at the point they really need to upgrade. These teams are looking for better fish so they can end the day with a quality finish. Stay tuned because weigh in is next. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, is brought to you by Black Rifle Coffee Company, by TH Marine, from transom to trolling motor, and by Mountain Dew. There's more to come. This summer, we're fueling your fun with weekly giveaways. From gas cards to product packs, each entry gives you an extra chance at our grand prize of a $1,000 TH Marine gift card and a 30-minute video call with Kevin Van Dam. Enter each week at thmarine.com slash fuel the fun for a chance to win. No matter how you fuel your fun, TH Marine is there to help you. Research and development is more than just time in the shop for us. It's time out here. Sweating the details. Making boats that work as well in the real world as they do on paper. From our R&D team to our anglers on the water, we have the knowledge and passion to build you the finest fishing platform in the world. Some things ain't worth keeping. Yesterday's traditions, today's adventures, tomorrow's memories. Now that's something worth keeping. Fish Alabama and find your keeper. For more information, visit fishalabama.org.
Rob Lee, Steve Winslet, come on over here. I already guarantee you already punched their ticket to the uh, Alabama Bass Trail Championship, trying to win two events on the season. Let's see what they got. 12-14, that's going to be our leader. Are you okay with 12 after all said and done? No, not hardly. How did you end up after we left you the last time? Oh, uh, we've probably caught 30 after y'all. We've seen y'all. We've caught them deep. We've caught them shallow. We just bounced back and forth trying to get a big bite and never could. Everything was just two pounders. Right. Looks like you need 12-14 to take the lead. You did just that. 12-62, a new leader, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's not huge numbers. What did you do to try to up upgrade your limit after we saw you? Uh, we started flipping a bunch of piers, throwing jigs, and throwing a jerk bait a good bit, too. Freeman's High, you know what? Y'all were bubble boys, weren't you? Y'all were 10th place, and we only take nine to the ABT Championship. We got a new leader, though, 1338. Like, we have a moving on up, right? We saw you early this morning. I think you guys may have had one fish when we saw you. What did you do to upgrade throughout the day? Uh, a little bit of everything. Uh, we just started flipping docks, uh, fishing brush piles with shaky heads, just stuff like that. We need 13 and change to take the lead. He got 12-22. That is going to move you into second. Good job, guys. Congratulations. What's the big one going to weigh? Ah, uh, five and a half. Shut up. That that might take it. That could be an extra payday. Five and a half is almost five. Four ninety-seven. Go grab that bad boy and hold it up. Hey, you get your picture taken. Oh my goodness, you were two tenths out of the lead. 13-18, moving into second place. How about round applause for these guys? Our second 13-pound bag. Good job. See what Foster Bradley and Nick Harris have. They've got a good bag, and they've got five fish. Let's see what they weigh. This could take the lead. We need 13-38. No, it's not going to do it. 14-15, 16-66, ladies and gentlemen. You better cheer for these guys. They done jump, leapfrogged everybody by three pounds. We've seen a lot of weights in here, 11, 12, 13 pounds. What did you do to kind of set you over the top? Uh, we caught them on a jig. Uh, I mean, we just swam a jig most of the day, and or what, toward the end of the day, and that's how we caught pretty much everything we had. Yeah, they got a good day today. He said, you want to talk to him? I don't want to talk to him. You talk to him? I don't want to talk to him. Well, you, somebody's talking to me because they're in second place, 1403. Good job, guys. Luke and Dyer moving up into second with 14 and change. Man. Had to keep making adjustments. Okay. Started out with a lot of small ones and kept moving around, moving around, looking for brush piles until we got lucky on some. Right now we need a 497 to be our Mountain Dew Big Bass. We've got it. 527, a new Mountain Dew Big Bass. Round of applause for these guys. What would you do different to catch that fish? We uh, we just caught it in the shad spawn this morning. We we thought we had a little bit figured out with the shad spawn deal, and they apparently had a lot of rain up here uh, on Thursday night, and uh, the area we was fishing got blowed out. But luckily, we caught one fish in there today. They got a big bag of fish coming on here. Let's find out. 12, 13, 14. We need 1666 to take the lead. 1536, about a pound and a quarter outside of Bradley and Harris. We started this morning on shad spawn and caught some on a swim jig, and that one we weighed in was on frog, and then we caught some off docks and stuff on a jig. 1586 for McKagan Hurst. That's going to put them into second place, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause for these guys coming on at the end. You had a 5.85 largemouth. We knew coming into this, three pounds or better would be premium. Five pounds, we've only seen two all day. What does what does that do for you when you catch a fish like that? Well, I mean, it's all the difference in the world here, but that's what this lake's kind of turned into, to be honest. it's It's got better quality average fish than Lake Martin, but if you look, most of the time, you've got to have a big largemouth here to contend, this time of year especially. Well, many thought it would take 17 pounds to take a victory here at Logan Martin. It didn't take that, but 1666 is pretty darn close, and you bested everyone, and you get to punch your ticket to the championship, yeah. so that's got to feel a little bit better. Heck yeah, it does. And $10,000 doesn't hurt either. No, I, we, I guess we ended up winning, what, close to about 20 today. Yeah. With, he, he's got a Camus boat and Garmin and first, so... ABT gear, the whole nine yards. It helps to have those uh, sponsors to help kicking things in because, again, you're getting 100 you know, percent payback and more. What was the key to victory today? Was there one thing or was there a series of things that did it? Um, I'll, let, I'll let Chip speak to a little bit, but we ended up late, later in the day going back shallow and um, fishing behind some people, but we started doing something a little bit different, the way we were retrieving the bait, um, and it started producing. Um, we caught we caught everything on a Davis swim swim jig, and um, we recently partnered up with Brian Stifler at Hammer Rods, 
And so, I mean, that, that's, that's what, we, it's what we called him on. Chip, I think it's not sticking with the one thing, you know, making that adjustment. You have to do that. You stick with what may or may not work. I mean, you, you've got to make those changes. Oh, yeah. We, uh, we're, I mean, you know, we, we didn't make very good decisions early. But because uh, we ran way down the lake and tried a few things and came back up here and and luckily put a jig in our hand and just went with what we felt the most confident with. Well, that was the one thing here at Logan Martin. You had a lot of variety, water clarity, water depths. You had it all, and 1666 took it. We still got one spot, but you already punched your ticket to the championship. Our next stop is going to be the ABT 100 at Miller's Ferry. We make sure to tune in here on Bally Sports Southeast. The next stop on the Alabama Bass Trail 100.